Let's go! Yeah! Yeah! But here's a provisional broadcast. What?
Let's go!
you.
Let's go! Here I come! Out. Here I come! you.
This may be sudden, but here's a provisional broadcast. Day. Thank you for tuning in. Ah, the servants of the Demon Lord. Murderers. Defilers of this shrine. How can you live with your choices? We've nothing more to discuss. I was a fool to lend you my ear. You'll never get away with this. This is my only means of atonement. Child. Go, Demon Gazer! Now is the time to stop Magnastar's vile scheme! Scheme? Magnastar's scheme? <laughs> what an absolute farce! Does your foolishness know no end? Or perhaps you are just that ignorant? It's over, Magnastar! Time for a hotly anticipated song segment once again. Magnus Star, hear the melody of justice! We, the three pillars and servants of the Demon Gazer. We will defeat you for the people of Asteria! You! This is. Starlita? The song of love for Asteria! The true Starlita! No! You mustn't sing it! The gate! You will not open it! Even if it costs me my life! Ugh! 
Not here. I can't fail. You did it, you magnificent bastard! Yeah, uh, don't worry about that. <laughs> you see, Muse asked me to slip in and broadcast the big fight, so I brought the necessary equipment and snuck in behind you. How else could we broadcast an accurate blow-by-blow? -blow? We can still hear you! See? That's the deal. <laughs> I'm used to it by now. Since we're off the air now, what happened to Magnastar? Oh, he's on the ground and barely holding on. No, wait. Something feels... off. Off? What's that mean? Hey, man. You lost, okay? There's no reason for you to keep glaring at us. Yo! Are you listening? So... that's it. The manipulator of the revolutionist party. It was you all along, Alicia. Congratulations, everyone. Excellent job defeating Magnastar. Eric? Uh, what a delight! I can finally accomplish my goal. Why are you acting so surprised? Our goals are very similar, after all. They're practically one and the same. Until Magnastar's defeat, that is. Hey! What are you talking about? It's why I cooperated with you. Thanks for playing your role so well. But you're no longer necessary, so this united front ends now. Hold on. Stop joking around, Eric. Speaking of jokes, Eric is the biggest joke of all. Eric, the astral soul magician. Sorry. There's no such person. My name is Elysia. I was once Magnastar's dead daughter. Magnastar's dead kid? No way! I don't believe it! Oh no, it was the truth. Well, until a few moments ago. But now, I am who descended from far above. I am part of the Great Will. Hey! Castle! Report in! Ugh! Now's not the time! One who gazes upon demon souls. I commend you for paving this path. Come, return to me once again. Wait just one damn minute! Don't try to confuse us with your nonsense! You won't lay a finger on him! Indeed. You'll come no closer. Right? He is our beloved master! Stand down, lest you be turned to ash. I'll protect my big brother! This power! Castle! What's going on? A answer me! What's going 
going on over there? We in the castle? Uh, we got knocked from the shrine. Can't believe I'm still alive. <clears throat> Magnastar. This guy's here too, huh? <coughs> hey, give it a rest, old man. This is all my fault. Alicia, I should have laid her to rest. But I couldn't do it. I just couldn't. No way. So you really did bring her back from the dead? No, she looks like her. That is not her! Someone else, some dread presence has taken control of her being. But despite that, I still wanted her to live. I should have killed her. If only I... Alicia... I should have killed you! Enough. Don't talk. You've already suffered enough. It's all over now. Forget about all this and rest. No, not yet. It's not over yet. Hey! Where are you going? Hey! Gazer of stars, so you've awakened. Useless. You are my creation. Thus, your body is mine to control. Behold the heavens. You were created for this moment. Unleash the starlight from your eyes and light the path to my origin. Demon Gazer, use your eyes. Use them to lead the world to despair. Be the light for Asteria's destruction. Give me, my daughter. Till the day the stars shine no more, I will continue to love you!
Uh, hey! Uh, are you alive? Come on! Snap out of it! Huh? Uh, what is that? Wake up! This is no time for a nap! Come on, Demon Gazer! We still need you! D Damn it! Someone! Anyone! Please, save him! Save him! those listening to our broadcast, I have a favor to ask of you. A calamity looms over Asteria, and I need your help. Please think of someone precious to you and sing a song for them. The power of stars. It resides in every one of our hearts. Please, do it for the future of Asteria. Prim? Oh. Yeah. I understand. Prim? W where are you? Uh, Prim, you're not going to... Damn it. It's no good. If that didn't work, nothing will. <sighs> Just my luck. Huh? <clears throat> no way. This is... <laughs> hey, listen! Everyone's out singing! It's all of Hysteria! They're singing for you! Oh, Prim! Don't go! Prim, no! You can't! If you sing... You're awake! Did you hear them? They've all been singing for you! Whoa!
Prim, child of my song, I'd long forgotten you, but... Yeah, I always knew I would see you again someday. It was really hard, but because I knew I was getting closer to you... You could finally sing it, your very own song. Yes. I see. Then... I can go now. But we finally met. I know. But Father is waiting for me. We could go together. She's really... she's really gone. And so, Asteria's revolutionist party finally completed its purpose. The people greeted the Demon Gazer with cries of joy and adulation. As time passed, Magnastar's crimes were exposed to the public. But good and evil weren't as far apart as the world assumed. He was just an ordinary man, no different than any other. Many of his crimes were the result of his love and weakness. I guess the rest will be left up to the historian's interpretations. I'll end this journal with the words of the revolutionist leader. The tragedy that claimed countless lives has finally come to a close. They say that to err is human. When it involves the love of a parent, the risk of error is that much greater. Now that it's all over, if I could make just one wish, I hope the world always remembers that their love shone as bright as the stars. They are now resting in peace where they can gaze upon their memories. They dream of the days where they had nothing, but were happy together. Welcome home! Yeah. For now, let's be happy you're back. That goes for Castle and them, too. It was a great broadcast thanks to you. Well, don't worry about us. I'm used to outrunning death by now. But, hey, Muse, about Prim. Yeah, about that. <laughs> the thing is, everything turned out just fine. 
Huh? Uh, hello. I I'm sorry for making you worry. Huh? But I thought, if he's saying, uh, what's the deal? <laughs> See, this is the problem with meatheads. I will allow Prometh to explain what happened. Yes, it was me. You confessing to a crime? I had been thinking of a way to save Prim for some time now. My idea was to make something else vanish in place of Prim's soul. Something as valuable as a soul would balance it out, I say as a mortician. Starlita. Prim values it as highly as her soul. Rather, it could even be considered another soul that existed inside her. I opted to make the power of song vanish from her heart instead. I see. So if the song inside her vanishes, Prim herself would be saved. Doesn't that sound a bit too convenient? Of course it wasn't that simple. There was actually a big problem. Prim's soul and Starlita had all but completely merged. She's had it since birth, after all. Naturally, her soul and song were one. Yes, however, we received some unexpected help. The song that Asteria sang together as Prim's soul began to vanish. The song was led by the people, and in that moment, the song was wrested from Prim's soul. Yes, I... I met her. I met her. Starlita's original songstress. I said I'd go with her, but... She left by herself. And good thing you didn't. Anyway, it was all thanks to those who heard the broadcast and sang together. Ah, the radio is a divine invention. I love my job more and more. Wait, hold on. Do you mean to tell us that Prim can't sing anymore? No, she can sing just fine. The magic is gone from her songs. She lost the power of Starlita, but her talent for singing is intact. She can sing and bring joy to others, just as she always has. I think it's perfect. It was too powerful for her before, but now she can sing all she wants. Yeah, you're right. I can sing to my heart's content. That's the way it should be. She may have lost her powers, but it defied the natural order of things. I think you might be better off without all that magic power. Well, everything's basically the same, so I guess it's all hunky-dory. But man, you always steal the spotlight at the end, Mortician. I brainstormed a new show format. After all, I am the broadcast writer. Haha, <laughs> yeah, that's right. But, but everyone, I have a question. Since the revolution was a success, do we disband the revolutionist party? Yeah, I guess. Perhaps I'll need to think up a new business plan. Even now, you're thinking of money. Someone of my noble blood has many expenses to cover. Don't ruin this momentous day with that kind of talk. Toma brings up a good point, though. I guess we aren't the revolutionists now. a comedy duo with Peggy. Pro Pro, would you book us a slot in your studio? Ah, but of course. I will bring it up in the next meeting. What is this selfish nonsense? Now that peace has been established, we have a duty to maintain it. I pledge eternal fealty to my master. 
might be fine for the rest of you, but I have lots to do from now on. That's right. What are you going to focus on starting tomorrow, Muse? Hmm. Priority one is to stabilize the finances here at Stella's place. Yes, we've been heavily reliant on campaign contributions up till now. I suppose you'll continue to work as the manager of Stella's place. Well, well sure, but we have lots of future prospects to consider, right? I mean, we need to take the next step in our lives now. A new revolution? would be great whoa whoa making life plans already isn't it a bit early for that <laughs> I know right my sister loves to rush these things I think we should take our time and talk it over with others first no uh, yeah, yeah you're right maybe there's no need to rush but, of course, you have to consider his feelings, too. But these are just future plans, okay? Feelings have nothing to do with it. Whoa! W what's going on now? Uh, I didn't do anything, I swear! <laughs> Look, it's Wyvie! Oh, right! He must have come back for some food! Hey, hey! You say it like it's no big deal! It's a big... The thing is, my mom hit me up pretty recently. She said he eats too much, so he has to stay here now. I nearly had a heart attack. <sighs> More trouble ahead, huh? I'm not your food! Eee! Don't roast my tushy! At least trim my stomach fat! Oh, this is good stuff. However, I'm out of film. I guess that's all for now! Tune in next time! <laughs>